full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Here is our preaching brother, Delphin. Welcome to our Bible study. Hi, I wanna hold you all Canta muna tayo. Sitting down there, she gonna hear us. Hannah, you gonna hear us, isn't it? Volume, ah. it. Thank you for watching. May God bless you and all your heart desire. Hannah, because this is you cannot hear us. This is the most important. Tasmuyin volume mukunte. Salamat sa lahat ng nakikinig. Tas mo yung volume mo ng konti para mo rin mo. All the blessings that comes from above. Volume ka ng konti. Up. Nakakula po yung volume pa. Okay, magkasin. Ano po, lumalatas, tas mo hina. Mag-opening ka ng prayer. Oh, can you... Can you do opening prayer, Hannah? Opening prayer, please. Can you do opening of the... Opening prayer, please. Okay. 
Lord God, lahat ng mga hinihanda mo para sa amin lahat nawa ikaw ay maluguran para sa aming uh, pagpupuri for our present worship Lord God, we offer everything to you Lord God there is nothing that we do that we don't offer it to you Lord God for your glory Lord God because without you we cannot do nothing Lord God so um, we believe that you have saved us and that you sent your son Jesus Christ to save all of us the that, um, Sydney, Lord God. that uh, we have to do your will for 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 us yes, to continue Lord. living in the life that you have prepared for each and every one of us. Yes, Hallelujah forever. Glory to Christ Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. May you open our knowledge, understanding, and wisdom that comes from you. May you fill it up with your presence, O Lord, with all the things that comes from you, Lord God, so that we will defeat that is of the word that is trying to control our lives. Oh Lord God, we glorify your name, Lord God, and we send, uh, we ask for all the angels in heaven to come and minister to us, Lord God, especially the Holy Spirit to guide us and teach us your ways. And uh, we'll be uh, able to understand what you want us to learn tonight. May you bless each and every one of us, especially this uh, period we are undergoing uh, pandemic threat. In all places around the world, Lord God, we, uh, we ask you to protect each and every one of us, our family and friends. Yes, Lord. And all those people who are around us and around the world, Lord God, for those people who have been uh, infected with the virus, yes, um, I pray in Jesus' mighty name through the Holy Spirit that they may be healed, Lord God. They may be protected, O oh Lord. They will um, survive this uh, plague that is uh, around us right now at this present time, Lord God. As you have said, Lord God, if you ob obey me, I will not send the disease like what I've sent in Egypt, you said. And so, Lord God, you are commanding us to obey. Because we know in the old days we have disobeyed you, Lord God. So now, you have given our salvation for free. And also, you ask us to obey you so that this is not a payment, but it is in obedience to your words, Lord God, so that we will continue to be in your hands and receive the grace of salvation through our faith. So all this, Lord God, we pray in Jesus' mighty name to the Holy Spirit, one God, forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. And everybody says, Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to Christ Jesus, glory to God in the highest, and our message for today is taken from the book of uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Matthew 7, 21. Okay, let me read now. All those who have a Bible, please uh, open them. If you have a smartphone, search them. Matthew 7, 21 onwards. Okay, it says here. You got it already? Yes. Matthew 7, yeah, it says here, not everyone who says to me, 
Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doors. This is the word for our salvation. Let us praise the Lord. Amen. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise Christ. you, Jesus. Welcome Hallelujah Monday. forever. Glory to Christ Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. Okay, who are the people who are attending now? Uh, may God always uh, bless you richly, so that we will uh, we will always be uh, in His hands, and um, we'll be away from all dangers that is facing us. Amen. Okay, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So, so now it says here, <clears throat> when we are saved, okay, we are all we are all being saved, right? Yes. By the power of God, we are we are, we have been saved by what the work of Jesus Christ did. Okay, we are all saved. Now, my question is: Are you sure of your salvation? And the answer is yes. We are sure of our salvation because everything that God did, everything that uh, God does for us. It is for our own good. Amen? Amen. So, Jesus Christ our Lord died for us. And that is for our own good. To save each and every one of us. Amen? Amen. So, no one is exempted. But only those, only those who does not believe in what Jesus Christ did. Okay? They will not be saved. Okay. Although this, although this salvation is a provision. It is a grace. It is for free. In other words, it's free for all. Amen? Amen. Now, salvation can be attained by anyone who does not believe yet. Because if they repent and turn back to God, they will be able to be saved. Amen, Paul? Amen. Now, what happened to those who, do, who don't know what is happening around them? Who don't know what is the scriptures? Who don't know what the Bible at all? What about them? They can also be saved. Uh, since uh, the Bible said, all people can be saved if they will believe. Because if you believe in Christian way that is given to, God, to us by God, if we believe, there is a work that goes with it. Okay? Jesus Christ said, let us learn from Jesus Christ. I was sent by the Father into this world, not to do my own will, but to do the will of Him who sent me, He said. Right? So, in other words, he believes of what God has planned for us. And in that plan, Jesus Christ is the one who is going to accomplish it. Amen? And in accomplishing that plan, Jesus Christ has to do the work. Okay? So, some people say, you don't need work. Just believe and you will be saved. That is not true. Understand this very well. Even Satan himself, he believes that there is one God. He even trembles if he hears the word of God. But he is not saved. Why? Because he doesn't do the will of God. Amen? Okay. So, what is the will of God? <laughs> we have to do the will of God. Because not all who says, Lord, 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 will be saved. Amen? Amen? In other words, they will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So, here you go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Kingdom of heaven or kingdom of God. Okay? But only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Who is the first one who do the will of... Who do the will of... Our Father who is in heaven. Who is the first one? Who is the first person who do the will of our God, the Father in heaven? Who is it? You know, that's it. That's it. Mother Mary. Amen. <laughs> Mother Mary is the first one who do the will of the Father of God in heaven. According to the scriptures, he said, As you have said, let it be done according to thy will. Amen. Okay, good, good. 
And who is the second one to do the will of God, of the Father who is in heaven? Who is the second one? Peter. Who is the second one? No, not Peter. Do you know who is the second one who do the will of the Father in heaven? It is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Okay. Who is the third one? Who is, that, who, who is the third one? Actually, there are many. Who are the third one? Peter. The third one. Are the apostles? <laughs> All right. There you go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So, they are the apostles. They do the will of the Father who is in heaven. Amen? Okay, now. So, they are the apostles. Amen. Because uh, there is an echo. Because uh, the translation is delayed so that means i am already finished talking here it is still talking in other countries right i already stopped for one second two seconds three seconds and it is still transmitting to you guys so that is what happened okay anyway if we want to do the will of god we have to know what are the attributes or what is the will of God or what who is God is? Amen? Amen. Do you know who is God is? Because this is a Bible study, so therefore we have to start from the basics. Amen. Especially we have new new brothers and sisters there. So we have to start from the basics. Who is God? How do we know that there is God? How do we how do we know who God is? Who is he really? Yeah? Okay, let's um let's have a look at the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse Deuteronomy chapter 32. Okay. Chapter 32 verse 4. Okay. Let's have a look. He is the rock. His words are perfect. Amen. His words are perfect and his ways are just okay a faithful god who does no wrong amen upright and just as he is okay that is the god that we are talking about amen there is no wrong in him he is just as he is he will not give favor to anyone that is not deserving okay he treats everyone fairly amen, amen. so it says here in our readings therefore not everyone who says to me, Lord. In other words, not everyone who calls him Lord, okay, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only those who do the will of God. Amen. So let's find out what is the will of God is. Okay. Second Samuel uh, 22, 31. As for God, his ways are perfect. Okay. The word of the Lord is flawless. Okay. He is a shield for all who take refuge in Him. Amen? He is a shield for all who take refuge in Him. So in other words, the will of God is perfection. Amen? That we have to be perfect as well if we are His children. Amen, Paul? Amen. And the will of God, He has to make us perfect. Because if we are not made perfect, then we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen? The word of the Lord is flawless. In other words, there are no mistakes in the word of the Lord. All the word of the Lord is for our own good and they are all correct. It means it's flawless. So that means if they are flawless, they are supposed to be followed. So we have to follow the word of the Lord. Amen? Amen. In John 15 verse 14, if you love me, Jesus Christ said, you have to be all I have commanded you. Because all I have told you are truth. Alright? Okay. So, he is a shield. He is a shield for all those who, who take refuge in him. So, it is the will of God that all of us, we have to take refuge in him. It is his will to protect us. Amen? Amen. So, he is, his, he is our sanctuary. Okay? He is our sanctuary that God has provided forever. Amen? And it is the will of God to enter into that sanctuary. The sanctuary is Jesus Christ himself. 
Amen po? Amen. Okay, so, what did you understand so far about the will of God? The will of God is... Do you understand anything about what I what I have said to you about the will of God? Did you understand anything? Yeah. About the will of God. The will of God, did you understand anything? Hannah, do you have any answers? Uh, okay, Hannah, ikaw sumagot. Did you understand anything about the will of God? Okay, good. What is your answer? Mm. Okay. The will of God is for us to be saved. Amen? Amen. So, Amen. so that if we, okay, if we call Him Lord, 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 He wants us to enter the kingdom of heaven. But then the next verse, He said, but only those who does the will of the Father will enter the kingdom of heaven. So, it is the will of God that we have to do His will. Amen? Amen. So that we will enter the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> if we do not do the will of God, we will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay. And what is the will of God? He said, take this, all of you. He said, the will of God is to obey the one whom he has sent. Amen? Amen. And who is that? Jesus Christ. Huh? He who said, is that? He says Jesus Christ. Okay, so the will of God is to be the one he has sent. And he has sent his son. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay. So, so what is uh, Jesus Christ teaching us in the Bible? Yes, to be His command. What is Jesus Christ teaching us in the Bible about Him? <laughs> okay. God is teaching us to be the one God has sent. In other words, God is teaching us to be the one He has sent, who is Jesus Christ Himself. So, everything that the Son will say to us, we will have to obey. Amen? Amen. Okay, why, why do we have to obey Jesus Christ when we can obey somebody else? Why we have to obey Jesus Christ when we can obey somebody else? Because he is the only... Mili, ikaw. Why we have to obey Jesus Christ when we can obey somebody else? We have to obey Jesus Christ because... He said his commandment. We want to obey his command. To love one another as uh, yeah. he loves us. But the question is, why we have to obey Jesus Christ? As, in, uh, instead of, instead of uh, because why we have to obey Jesus Christ? We can obey someone else as well. Because He is the only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Because He is the because only begotten Son. He is the lover of our soul. No, that's not the answer. Why we have to obey Jesus Christ? To save us from our sins. Para tayo ay maligtas. That's it. In order for us to be saved. Amen? Amen. If we don't obey Jesus Christ, we cannot be saved. So you must understand that one. Simple question, simple answer. Why we have to obey Jesus Christ? Because God wants us to be saved. Amen? Amen. The next question. Why? Why God wants to save us? Because He loves us. 
Aside from He loves us, what is the reason why God wants to save us? Why? <laughs> What's your answer? Where is Hini? Where is uh, Ropi? Uh, Hana? Where is your dad? Huh? Mukhang hindi kayo nakikita ng camera yata. Mukhang yung camera nyo yata ang lapit-lapit lang sa inyo. Bakit hindi kayo nakikita lahat? Suppose, suppose, ilagay mo sa malayo para makita kayo lahat. Isabit mo dun sa malayo. Para nakikita kayo mga kausap ko. Okay, sagutin mo baba. Eh, tanongin mo sila. Why, why does God wants to save us? Tamayo ka doon. Why does God wants to Rope, save us? Why does God wants to save us? Dahil mahal tayo ng Diyos. Babi. Answer ko rin yun ah. Ano pa? Ikaw hini. Bakit gusto ng Diyos masib tayo? Para daw tayo magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggang. Kay hini yan. Ikaw ah. Uh, Uh, Harold, si Jordan. Sabi ni Hini, para tayo magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggang for himself. God wants to save us for himself. Para tayo magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggang. Welcome, Joan. He wants to save us just because of Emily. Lini sin tayo sa kasalanan. Si Emily, he wants to save us para malini sin tayo sa kasalanan. Dito ka ano pa? Ano pa? Si Nanay. Nay Bambi Why does God wants to save us? <laughs> very simple question niya Pero very tricky Why does God wants to save us? Ano pa? He wants us to be one spirit, one body of Christ. God wants us to be Ano pa? Keep going. <laughs> Because he wants us, 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 us to pray for one another. Ano pa? Why does God wants to save us? <clears throat> Wala pang kasagutan. Kulang pa yung kasagutan ninyo. Why 
Because God loved us. Yeah. Na nasabi niya yun kanina. Wala na kayong ibang sagot? Hindi tayo alis dito hanggang hindi nyo nasagot niyan, tamang yan. Yes, Uncle. Hindi tayo alis dito. You have to understand that one. God wants to save us because He is not willing for... Why? Why did God wants to save us? Why, the, why does God wants to save us? Huh? Come on, you should, you have to understand this one. Para maligtas ang kasalanan, para tayo maligtas. Ano pa? Okay, wala na, wala na kayong sagot? Wala na. Okay, sagot ito. God wants to save us because we cannot save ourselves. Amen? Amen. <laughs> that is why He intervened. He sent His Son to die for us so because nobody can save himself. Amen? Amen. So we are fallen. We are fallen. We are disgraced. So he gives us grace. Okay? First we are disgraced so he gives us grace so that we will be saved because we cannot save ourselves. Amen? Amen. Ah, very simple questions. Hindi niyo masagot? Huh? Yo, hindi kayo nagbabasa ng scriptures. Oh, nakikinig kayo, dumadaan si isang tainga. Lulusot naman doon si isang tainga. <laughs> ang ganda naman, ang ganda ng mga estudyante ko. Oh. Okay. God wants to save us because we cannot save ourselves. Okay? And for that purpose, He wants us to be reconciled to Himself. Okay, that is the second one. He wants us to be reconciled to Himself. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay, you understand these two things. Okay, when we are reconciled to Himself, now we can call Him Lord, 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 and we can enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen? Amen. Amen. Okay, you write it down. You must understand this. So, if we are not reconciled to God, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. So first, He have to save us from the death of self-destruction, from the stronghold of the enemy. He has to forgive us our sins, but somebody has to die for us to do that. So that we can be reconciled to Himself. By the work of Jesus Christ, we can be reconciled to God. And then now we can call Him Lord, Lord, Lord. And we can enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen? If we are not reconciled to God, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven even though we call Him Lord, 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 Lord. First, we need to be reconciled. And how do we reconcile to God? How? What is the work that we have to do in order to be reconciled to God? Now, this is our work, okay? Jesus Christ died for us. He removed the sin so that we will be reconciled to God. Now, our part, we have to do our part, okay? This part, 
you must understand, okay? It does not add to salvation. The salvation is already there. We have, we have to receive it, okay? If we don't receive it, the salvation is hanging on the air. It's not going to fall on us. Okay, maybe one day it will pass us by. And it's not, it's not going to fall on us. Why? Because we need to obey Jesus Christ. Okay? We've been reconciled. He's done the work. Now we have to obey Jesus Christ. So our reconciliation will be complete and perfect. Amen? Because God is our, our God is perfect and holy. Amen? Amen. Amen. So when we are reconciled, we have to do the work of we have to do the work of Ano yun? Word of God. We have to do the work of God. We have to do the work of the children of God. The children of God. We've been reconciled. Now we have to do the work of the children of God. We become His children now. Okay? Amen? We become the adopted children of God. So we can do His work now. Okay? So, when we enter the kingdom of heaven, because of what Jesus Christ did in His reconciliation, we have to do the work as the children of God. Now, what are the works? Remember, only the children of God can do the work of God that is given to us. Remember that one. If you are not the children of God because you, you are not reconciled to God yet, that means the sin is still blocks you from entering the kingdom of heaven. Because you don't believe, maybe you don't obey, you don't follow. Still, you are still blocked. Doesn't matter, you know the scriptures. The devil knows the scriptures, but he doesn't know how to apply them in his life. Amen? Amen. So if you don't know how to apply the scriptures in your life, it is not going to work for you. So it is up for us to apply it so that the seed that is planted in us will grow and it will grow bigger and it will bear much fruit. Okay, unless we are in the kingdom of God, we cannot do the work of God. The so first thing we have to do is we have to be in the kingdom of God after reconciliation that is done by Jesus Christ. Amen, Paul. So now you know. Why God wants to save us. Amen? Mm. You have to remember. Okay. Now, Jesus Christ did the reconciliation for us by absorbing all our sinfulness. By taking our place. Because we cannot save ourselves. If He did not take our place, we cannot save ourselves. And we cannot be reconciled to God. If we are not reconciled to God, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. Okay. Now, that we are reconciled to God by what Jesus Christ did. Okay. We are now in the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God are the children of God. And we have to do the work that God has assigned us to do. Amen. What is that work? What is that work that God wants us to do? Obey. Obey. That's very good. You must have known. Okay. We have to be everything he has told us to do. Amen. Amen. So that is Jesus Christ is speaking. We have to obey everything that he has told us to do. Okay. Because he loves us. Okay. So, ngayon, ngayon, uh, we are in the kingdom of heaven, okay? So, only the children of God can do good. If we are not in the kingdom of heaven, we are outside, we cannot do any good. Because we are useless. So, you see what I mean? Listen very carefully. Even though we are outside and call on the name of God, Lord, 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 Still, He doesn't know us because we are not yet inside. Amen? Amen. 
And to be inside of the kingdom of God, we have to obey the word of His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen, Paul? In order to be reconciled to Him. So, what do we do as the children of God? What do we do now as the children of God? As the children of God, Jesus Christ reconciled us to the Father. We've been baptized. We've been initiated. Okay? We have been confirmed. We have received the sacraments. So we are now in the kingdom of God. We are inside the kingdom of heaven now. So we can follow the teaching of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Because if we are outside the kingdom of heaven, we cannot follow the teaching of Jesus Christ at all. Because we are not yet the children of God. We are still the children of the enemy of God. So we have to get inside. Now, how to get inside? We have to do confession. We have to do the sacraments. Amen? Amen. We have to do confession. We have to confess our sins. So that when we confess our sins, we can then be initiated and be confirmed and receive the Holy Spirit who will give us life. When we have the Holy Spirit, we can receive the Holy Communion and partake on the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. That is what you do when you are in the kingdom of God. Outside the kingdom of God, these things is not available. That's why the Lord said, not everyone who says, Lord, 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 belongs to the Lord. But only those, only those who, who do the will of God. And the will of God is to follow the sacraments. The sacraments are instituted by Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There you go. <laughs> it is a form of external grace given to us by Jesus Christ so we can live inside the kingdom of heaven a holy life. Outside the kingdom of heaven, we cannot have work of God in us because everything that we do will be rejected by God. Amen? Amen. Okay. So, that salvation that we do inside the kingdom of God is not part of the salvation, but it is the fruit of our salvation. Amen? That effort doesn't add to our salvation at all. But it is the fruit of our salvation. Remember? But if we don't bear the fruit, we will forfeit our salvation, the precious gift, the most precious gift that God has given to mankind. Amen? Amen. If we do not do, if we do not apply it in our lives, if we do not do the work of God that He has assigned to us, brothers and sisters, we will not keep the salvation, but we will lose that. Amen. Amen. How much more, if you are already inside the kingdom of God, you still lose the salvation? How much more to those who are still outside? How difficult is the life? Amen? Amen. Okay, this is, uh, this is the lie that you have to understand. The lie of the devil. The lie of the devil says, you don't need work to be saved. That's correct. But if you don't, need, if you don't have work that produces good fruit, you will forfeit your salvation. That is the truth. Amen. Okay, so you must understand all this one. Because... Uh, too many false teachers in the world today, you don't need to do the work to be saved. Of course, you don't need to do the work to be saved, but it, that is not complete. We need to do the work in order to bear fruit. Amen? Because we will not return to God empty-handed. We have to return to God full of our fruits of labor, of love, of God. Amen? Amen. If we don't have any fruit, then the devil can curse us. Because we will forfeit our salvation, the greatest gift ever given to mankind by God. There's no fruit, we forfeit the salvation. Remember, salvation is already there. The salvation is meant for us to bear fruit. Okay, there you go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So, the grace of God, we will fulfill the grace of God in our lives. If our faith has work, then that faith is alive. If that faith have no work, then that faith is dead. If your faith is dead, then your salvation is not kept, but it's lost forever. Amen. Amen. Did you understand this one? The way it works. If 
If, the, if we don't need any more work, why did Jesus Christ has to go to the cross and be crucified? We have to do the work to suffer for the truth. Amen? Amen. That is the will of God. The will of God is for us to suffer for the truth. You want the crown? You have to suffer first. Some, some people go straight to the crown. They bypass the suffering. That is the devil's way. They bypass the cross. There is no work. You still have to go to your salvation and there's no work. That is the doctrine of Satan. For us Catholics, our doctrine is we need work to keep our salvation in order to bear fruit according to the grace of God that is given to us. Amen. We have to apply the grace of God that is given to us by faith that works so that we are alive in God. Amen? Amen. If we don't do any work, then Satan wants us not to do any work so that we will have a dead faith and we are useless to God. You see that one? Too many preachers. All oh, you don't need work to be saved. That preacher is a preacher of Satan. I'm telling you. Well, Jesus Christ was sent by God. If God teaches us that you don't need work to be saved, why did he have to send his son to die for us? Amen. Oh. Amen. Amen. Okay, good. Do you understand the one? Okay. So that when we do the work, by means of work, Abraham was called the father of faith. Because he proved his faith by means of his work. Amen? Amen. And so, with faith, okay, with faith that has work, we are justified like Abraham. He was justified by his work. He submitted to God, even under test. In Moriah, you know, when God asked him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac, he went to Moriah, Mount Moriah, and sacrificed his son. But then God is testing him if he have faith. Because some people, oh, I have faith, but you don't do anything. That faith is dead. You are useless to God. But then, by grace of God, we can manifest the power of God according to our faith if we do the works according to our faith. And that faith that works is obedience to the word of God. Amen? Amen? That is the work that we have to do. We have to obey the word of God and put it into practice and work with them. Amen? There you go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. People say, oh, by grace we have been saved. That's what the Bible said. Through faith. But what your faith is? James said, if your faith is without work, that means your faith is dead. Oh, be careful with this one. So, <laughs> Satan says, it is not from yourselves. Of course, it's not from ourselves. We know that. But the devil also knows our ignorance. He will take advantage of it. Oh, you don't have to work so that nobody boss. But you say, James said, I can prove to you my faith by means of my work. And prove to you, prove to me your work by means of your faith. You can't. Okay. But he proves his faith by means of his work. That faith is very substantial. You know? Okay. So, if we do the work, we have to obey what God has told us to do. Amen? Yeah. Okay, now. What are the works that Jesus Christ wants us to do? As the children of God. <laughs> First, we have to love God above all. Amen? Yeah. That is number one work. Okay. We have to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So those two things go together hand in hand. Amen? Okay. Now, we can see the good works, huh? The good works. I'm talking about good works here. Good works. Good works are fruit of the labor of love that God has taught us to do. Okay? By good works, we will... We will... Uh, Call down the heat of the evil, okay? By good works, okay? But if we don't do good works, we will do the opposite. Bad works, uh, that is worse. You go back to the old days, okay? Now, when we do the good works, we 
manifest the love of God in us. It is God himself who is doing his love in us through us, through us, so that we can go to others. Amen? Amen. <laughs> All right. So there you go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. If you don't do the work, that if you don't have good work, if you don't have, if you don't have to bear fruit, then sit and win in your life because you forfeit your salvation. Amen? Okay, now, don't boast around that you are, you are saying that, oh, I am a good person, I do good works. No, rubbish. Without God in you, you cannot do good works. If you are not in the kingdom of heaven, you cannot do good works at all. If you are, if you are outside the kingdom of heaven, you cannot do good works at all. Satan is outside the kingdom of heaven. And that's why he says, he's teaching, you don't have to do any work. Then you will follow him. He will, he will win in your life. Amen? Amen? There you go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Next question. What do you want God to do to you? So that um, you will continue to live to eternity okay what does God wants you to do so that you will continue to live to eternity okay what does God wants you to do remember this is about doing okay are you there what does God wants you to do he wants us to do his will follow his commandments follow his commandments he wants, he wants us to do all His commandments. Amen? Very good. Mm -hmm. He wants us okay. to do all His commandments so that we can apply it in our lives. And that commandments of God produces good works in us because His commandments is full of love. It's for our own good. Okay, so our good works produces good fruit. And we will not return to God empty-handed. Amen? Amen. We will return to God full of love, full of love, full of fruit. And that is what he wants from us. Okay, to bear fruit. Amen. To obey his commandments and bear fruit. Amen, Paul. Apart from me, he said, you can't do nothing. Apart from God, we cannot bear fruit. We cannot do nothing. He said, I am the vine. You are the branches. Anybody that doesn't bear fruit, they will be cut off and they will be burned in the fire. But all the branches, they will be trained, they will be purged so that they will bear much fruit. Amen? Amen. There you go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So we continue on. Lord, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? We even cast out demons in your name. And the Lord said, depart from me, you evil doers. I don't know you. Because you don't, edit, you don't do any good works. You don't, you don't produce any fruit. So you become evil yourself. Remember the parable of the coins. He gave them coins. And one of them buried it to the ground. But Jesus Christ said, I will take it back from you. Why didn't you give it to somebody else so that he will, it will multiply? You see? You put it to the ground, buried it to the ground because you think that I'm a hard worker. You don't want to lose the money. That's wrong. You could have given it to me, back to me, and I will give it to somebody else and they could, they could make it multiply. So that means we have to do the work to multiply the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. The coins are the product, are the byproduct, are the fruits of our labor. The money is the Fruits of our labor in good terms, not the love of money, okay? So the coins, the fruit of our labor are all the supplications of the word that is given to us. And we can use them to support our family. What happens if you build those uh, fruits of our labor? Nobody will, be, will benefit from it. So what's going to happen? Everybody will have to suffer. Hunger. <clears throat> Amen? So therefore, so therefore, we have to resist what the devil is saying do not work. We have to resist him. Okay? So we, co we continue to do the work and bear fruit. Amen? So that is how we resist the devil. If you stop working, you cannot bear fruit, then you follow the devil and the devil wins in your life. 
And that is what happened. Jesus Christ said, okay, you have to obey the sacraments because the sacraments are uh, sacred writings for us to follow in order to lead a holy life. Amen? And then you, can you just imagine Satan doesn't want us to follow the sacraments? And if we don't, Satan is winning in our lives. How can we be holy if without is external grace that hurts us? This external grace is given to us by God for our own good and for our own protection. Amen? Amen. That's why, for example, the uh, extreme unction, the, it is an anointing of the sick so that when the, when the priest anoints you with the, uh, with the oil, okay, with the oil, you will be, you will be healed. Amen. Also, there is an oil that when they anoint you, they are anointing you for service. That is an ordination. So that the Holy Spirit will be with you always. Amen. All these seven sacraments, we have to remember them. We have to honor them. We have to obey them. Especially the sacraments of the Holy Eucharist. Sacraments of the Holy Eucharist, you cannot become a body of Christ unless you partake in the Holy Eucharist. If you are not the body of Christ, then you are outside the church outside the body of Christ. It is like our body has many parts. We got eyes, we got two ears, we got two eyes, right? We got nose, we got mouth, we got lips, we got hands, we got feet. Okay. What happens if you cut off your hands? The body will still live, but your hands will be dead. Because there's nothing to support it. If you severe your hands, you are separated from the body. You are no longer part of the body because you've been severed. You've been separated. Amen? Amen? All people are parts of the body of Christ. But we have to receive him in the Holy Eucharist. Because that's what he said. That is his command. Take this, he said. Take it. Take it. And eat it. Take it and eat of it. This is my body which will be given for you. That is transubstantiation. And then the chalice of wine, he said, drink it for you. This is the blood of the eternal covenant. That blood is a spirit. A spirit is the one that gives life. We have eaten the fruit of the tree, which poisoned us. And the blood of the lamb will clean us and heal us. Amen. If we believe and obey, God will heal us. But if we don't believe and obey, then <laughs> can you believe it? Can you believe it? That um, if you don't believe the Holy Communion, Satan wins in your life. Amen? Amen. Okay, so you see, you have to be very careful because uh, the world today is upside down, okay? You, can you just imagine that uh, uh, some people uh, some people are teaching, the devil are teaching, okay? The teaching of the devil is this. Do not receive the Holy Communion. If you receive, he said, then Satan wins in your life. <laughs> that is the doctrine of the devil. It's reversed. <laughs> but Jesus Christ himself is talking he said this is my body this is my blood if you don't drink it you have no life in you but the devil reverse that amen <laughs> can you just imagine that? so be very careful my brothers and sisters in Christ so these are things that we have to do we have to obey and bear fruit amen <laughs> so that we will stay on in the kingdom of heaven and enter eternal life if we obey the word of Jesus Christ, we will be included into the tree of life. So that is what it is in Revelations, okay? We will be included into the tree of life, but we have to receive Jesus Christ in the sacrament of Holy Eucharist. Okay, and then as um, uh, children of God, we continue because you see this one, because if we don't continue, the Satan will win in our lives. Okay? If we don't continue, Satan will win in our lives. And the, the people say, Lord, Lord, we, we have prophesied in your name. And in your name, drive out demons and perform many miracles. Then Jesus Christ, I will see plainly, he said, 
I never knew you away from me, evil doors. Why evil doors? Because they call the Lord, 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 but they do not do what He told them to do. Amen? Amen. There you go, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So we have to do what Jesus Christ told us to do because His words is flawless. There is no mistakes. There is no wrongs in His word. Okay? There is no wrongs in the word of Jesus Christ. Okay? Okay. And because He is perfect and holy, he, we are commanded to be perfect. Therefore, as your Father is perfect. Amen. Okay. So in Romans 12, 2, do not conform anymore to the patterns of this word. People will tell you not to receive the Holy Eucharist. Believe me. Believe me, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay. Uh, if you don't partake in the Holy Eucharist, Satan is winning in your lives. Okay. That is the satanic view. And there are too many of them already. Okay. I can show you the videos that they are doing. Oh, they're scary. Okay. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, he said, Do not conform anymore to the pattern of this word, but be transformed by, re by the renewing of your mind. Okay? Then you will be able to test and probe what God's will is in your life. Amen? First, we have to be transformed in our mind because if our mind is not transformed, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen? Amen. And we, if, we can, if we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven, we cannot enter, or we cannot enter eternal life. Amen? Okay, now we have to do this one. Um, all, every good and perfect gift is from God. Amen? Amen. Every good works and the fruit that we do is coming from God himself. He is doing it through us in order to defeat the enemy, Satan, who is wanting to conquer us. Amen? Amen. So if we do and if we do obey God, excuse me, and bear fruit, okay, and resist the devil, he cannot deceive us. Okay. He cannot win over us, but we will conquer the world. Amen? Amen. We will conquer the world. Because all good things coming down from heaven is in us. So the Father of heavenly lights, the Father who is full of lights and good works, and no wrongs in Him, is doing His work through us. Okay? So as children of God, we believe that God is our guide. Okay? We have God to follow, but we don't have to follow what the doctrines of men are. But we have God to follow that are written and what He commanded us in the Holy Scriptures so that we will continue to live in eternity and enter into the tree of life. God bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for listening, and we will see you again next time. Be safe, be holy, and be perfect, because God, our Father, is perfect. And if we want to be with God in the kingdom of heaven, all the people there are perfect, okay? There are no flaws in their lives. Mm -hmm. They have been washed by the blood of the Lamb, the precious blood of the Lamb, without blemish and without any spot. They have been made holy and perfect by Jesus Christ's works on the cross. Amen. God bless you and be always with God. We love you all in Jesus' name through the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor, we give it back to God. In Jesus' mighty name, through the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye. Good night. Amen.